Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been a little bit busy. Again, I know, same excuse. But um, today I wanted to make a video pretty much just um, talking about like what my goals are for 2020 and how I'm sorry about that so and how I'm gonna go about what well, what am I gonna do and um, hopefully this sounds good I'm I'm recording off a blue microphone so hopefully it sounds good and then also using my wife's um, makeup mirrors <laughs> hopefully it looks a little bit better um, but yeah I just wanted to talk about what what's coming for 2020 and i think i'm pretty much i'm to that point where i just need to crack down like this this year has been extremely like a huge roller coaster for me and my family so it's been really tough just to concentrate on the coding and all that stuff you know my wife uh she lost a very close family member of hers and it's been really rough. And then some other stuff happened, which I really don't want to mention, but it's it was extremely hard also for the both of us. Um, so yeah, I mean, I did finish the boot camp, obviously. And no, I have not been able to really find a job in it just because I also at the same time haven't really been able to concentrate on on really dedicating myself to looking for work. Um, I do have another video that I'm gonna make about, um, it's, I'm gonna call it letter to, letter to the boot camps, to the coding boot camps, because I feel like there is some stuff that needs to be done um, before, you know, people continue to go into to coding boot camps because, um, yeah, they, they'll teach you how to code, but you know, that's pretty much as far as it goes after that. With the job search, it's very, very iffy. So the, uh, I'll try to make that as soon as I can. Maybe I'll, I'll try to record it right after this video so I don't forget what I'm gonna say on that. But, um, so pretty much my goals for 2020 is, I, I'm giving myself exactly one year. Um, we, I can count it from today, which is December, I think it's like December 16th right now. Um, or, you know, point is, by December of next year, I have to have a job in the coding field or even in, um, you know, pen, uh, in the pen testing field or even DevOps. You know, my, the whole point is that I have to have a job in what I am seeking, which is coding, Pen testing or DevOps. That's that is my goal, and I am giving myself exactly till next December to pretty much accomplish that goal. Because I mean, I I haven't been able to concentrate. Uh, sorry for the glare, guys. Um, I, I put the mirror back there so you guys can actually see my face <laughs> because I'm in a, kind of a dark room. So, um, but yeah, pretty much that's that's where I'm at. Um, I, uh, I I need to really crack down on this be, uh, because, you know, I already paid that money for that boot camp and I just can't let that go. Plus, you know, getting into the um, software development field is something of a goal of mine. And not only software development, but, you know, pen testing or DevOps, it's just a goal of mine to work in a field that has to do with computers and coding, you know, hacking um, all that stuff, and like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, one of my previous videos, I said, you know, why did I change my career at the age of 33? Is because I'm really tired of of labor work, and I started doing labor work at the you know extremely young age before I could even actually legally start working. I was already doing labor work, and I'm at that point where I I I really can't do it anymore, and I don't want to do it anymore. I, w I want to spend time with my family. I want to enjoy my kids right now. And I feel like getting into this field 
is going to help me out because, you know, I can work from home if I want to. If I find a job where I can work from home, that would be great. But that is one of my goals for 2020, guys. That by December 2020, I have to have a job in this. And if I don't, then we'll figure something out by then. Um, I'm also going to kind of retake the course for for wazoo since you know you can be a student for life i'm sorry excuse me i'm gonna log back in and you know kind of start retaking it it's just to freshen up a little bit i do have an interview on december 20th i don't want to mention the company yet until i take uh, i um, do the interview just because it, it, it is a pretty big tech company um, once i do the interview i'll let you guys know what company it was I don't honestly feel very prepared. It's just, you know, I'm really nervous because this company is extremely hard to get into. The chances of me getting into that company are one in like 200,000, 300,000. But, I mean, for, I think off of that, you guys can kind of base it off uh, where I'm heading with that. But, yeah, guys, I mean, I, I, I am really nervous about this interview. I, I am getting hits on my LinkedIn. But again, it's just I don't feel prepared. I, I it's you know, I, I think it has to do with um with um what is that called? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, imposter syndrome, there you go. I think it has to do with imposter syndrome where I feel like, oh my god, you know, I know how to do this and that and, and when it comes to it, I was just like, you know, what happens if I get an actual job in this? Like I'm not gonna know what to do. <laughs> um so it comes down to the imposter syndrome where that's where I don't feel prepared because it's like, oh my God, there's people out there that are, you know, a hundred times better than me in, in the coding. Um, but, you know, I feel like when I'm doing it here at home, oh yeah, I could create a, a cool little website. But then when you get on into like the real job market, it's like, you know, you need to work with the team, you know, you need to know where to go fix if there's an error all that sort of stuff it i feel like oh my god like what's gonna happen if i actually i know that obviously you can learn on the job and they're not expecting everybody to know everything once you get that job but it's that yeah uh, you, you, i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of you know uh, most of you people getting into the development software development you know exactly what i'm talking about where you just don't feel prepared um, so that uh, again, the goal number one is to get a job by December 2020. Goal number two is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna concentrate strictly on on two languages, and the two languages I'm gonna really concentrate on till I get them down. I mean, once I get those down and I feel comfortable with them, I'll, I'll continue. But the two languages I'm really gonna concentrate on is JavaScript and Python. Now, JavaScript, obviously, because it's for front-end development and that's what I'm looking at. Excuse me. Python, just because when you go do an interview and you go do, you know, a whiteboard test, a lot of times it's just easier to write, do a whiteboard test in Python than it is in JavaScript. I have tried both languages because I do. I've been doing a lot of uh, practicing on the on the on the coding problems and writing a solution in JavaScript is almost twice as long as writing one in Python. And you know, when you go to an interview, when you go to a whiteboarding interview, you're on a time limit, so you're gonna want to do it in the language that you don't, you don't take as long as writing the code down. Not only that, I feel like Python is also a little bit better when you're writing code is a little bit better in um, uh, memory allocation. Um, when it comes to actually writing the code, memory allocation, it works just works a little bit better in Python. Um, I could be wrong on that, but that's that's the way that I you know that I'm looking at the, looking at it. But that's a, uh, goal number two is to concentrate just on those two languages, um, just because those not only there are 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 they the most popular languages out there for 2020, um, but it's just 
what I feel more comfortable in, JavaScript and Python. And Py Python really isn't that hard. Um, sorry guys. Python really isn't that hard to learn alone with JavaScript. And JavaScript is just keep adding and adding and adding to it. So that's goal number two, um, doing that. Goal number three is just, to be honest with you guys, just concentrating, concentrating and actually going through with all of this. Again, this year has been extremely tough. It's, it's, it's getting, it's very frustrating because I feel like, you know, I'm just not doing enough. And again, I think it goes back to the imposter dream where you, like I, you know, I, I sit down honestly for hours and she's code, but I, I'm like blocked. I feel like I'm just don't know where to go with this because I, I, I'm at, I, when you learn coding and correct me if I'm wrong or if you guys have had different experience, but when you learn coding and you learn that beginner stage of any language or whatever you're doing, even if it's full stack, once you get to that point, it's really hard to move on from there because you're stuck, especially if you don't have any projects to work on. Yeah, if you, you know, if you learn JavaScript, HTML, so you could create like little websites, your portfolio. But when it comes to in the job market, you go a lot more into debt. You know, you actually work on projects that are already out there. <clears throat> that are literally people are already millions of people are using them. And you have to find a way to fix that problem without breaking it without breaking the program so millions of people don't get mad. And and I think I'm at that point where I have nothing to work on. Like, yeah, I could go out on GitHub and look for open source projects, but that's also really hard to find an open source project that people are gonna let you uh, work on and um, you know edit on. So I, I'm at that crossroad right now where it's just like, I don't know which way to go. And I feel like that's what it's kind of like writer's block where it's just like you you have an idea but you don't know how to how to um, go about it, and that's exactly where I'm at right now. And I feel like those of you who, guys that are learning how to code <clears throat> or are deciding to go to a boot camp, um, you guys will get to that stage where it's like you it, you get stuck and you don't know which way to go. Because you want some old, you know, some real experience, some actual physical experience. Because from there, you, or nobody's going to want to hire you. And that's where I'm at right now, where I, I, I'm tr looking for that real world experience. But I have no clue where to go get it. Yeah, there's, again, you could go, it goes back to go online, find open source projects, you know, add on to them. But it's like... It's not that easy, and that's what a lot of people don't mention. That it's really not that easy to just go find an open source project, uh, yeah, and you know, commit to it. But it's no, the the person who's that pro that project belongs to has to accept. Has they have to be like, okay, you know, I'll allow you to to commit to my project. It's again, it goes. It's not that easy, and and, and that's another video I'm gonna make about how a lot of. Um, YouTubers and make it extra. They just go go out there and tell you like, oh, you know, just go learn on your own and you know do this, do that, and you'll find a job. They don't mention how difficult it is to get into the field without literally knowing somebody that's already in the field. A lot of the people that are in this field right now probably already knew somebody that was working at a at a tech company. And, and if you don't know anybody or, you know, that's where um, going you know, on LinkedIn and communicating with people and, you know, networking comes in. And luckily with doing Uber, I have been able to network with a lot of people. And that's how I'm getting some of my hits. And that's how I also got this interview that I'm going to do on December 20th. So, you know, that's another thing right there. So goal number, and it leads to my goal number four. Um, goal number four for me in 2020 is to network a lot more. Uh, I've been really quiet on social media. I've been really quiet on LinkedIn. Um, and networking, besides knowing how to code, guys, networking is really what's going to get you the job. Knowing the right people. 
and obviously it's going to help <laughs> you have to know how to code too even if it's the basic stuff but networking is what's really going to get you into that communication and networking um, because if you don't know how to talk to people then they're just going to automatically tell you no so goal number four for me what is gonna i have to network a lot more I, I gotta build connections you know build my linkedin my instagram a lot of you may be like oh you know why are you gonna build your social media when you want to because again it, networking is really what's going to push you because if let's say you're, you're you're posting on instagram or linkedin and somebody a recruiter sees you like okay you know this guy knows how to you know basic python and you know they're looking for an entry-level python developer at this company let me hit them up and that's exactly networking wise networking 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 and so those are my my, my goals for 2020 um obviously number one i forgot what number one was um <laughs> let me start from one of the ones i remember networking concentrating on 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 the two languages which is is python and javascript um really cracking down on 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 just getting not getting distracted and really just pushing myself to that let me guys um because I'm just tired. I, I, I it, it's just so crazy that I, I let myself go like this. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I want this channel for you guys to see the real, what it's really like to try to get into this field. Again, you guys can go watch all these other YouTubers, you know, Tech Lead, Joma, um, all these other uh, developers that are out there. But they don't they really don't let you know how difficult it really is to get in there um a lot of people already have connections inside the companies and a lot of them you know were fortunate enough to come out of harvard or stanford and being able to give that opportunity um i'm not saying that college is the way because nowadays it, it really doesn't matter no matter what company you go talk to it really doesn't matter as long as you get that real world experience under your belt and you know how to solve algorithms you'll be okay but i want this channel to be about the struggle of getting into the field and how some people for some people it's easier than others um but that's what i want you guys to see the real world experience of of how difficult it is but yeah guys i mean those are um those are my goals for for 2020 <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know you know i, I kind of ranted on there guys but i just want you guys to really to really see what's going on and how the the real stuff you know not not the pretty picture that somebody painted that oh my god you know you guys it, it's so easy it's really not and i'm not saying i mean i'm pretty sure i would have had a job by now if i really would have cracked down and concentrated um but unfortunately, you know, life happens. I haven't stopped coding. I'm still once in a while, you know, practicing. But it's time it's time for me to push myself to the, you know, to that next level uh, where I really have to crack down and find somebody to work with. Uh, you know, even if it's a freelancer, I could, you know, just go tell them, like, let me do a couple lines of code, man. You know, let me watch you, you code. It's building that resume, building that network. And really, it's just cracking down and doing it. But, yeah, guys, I mean, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm sorry this seems so sour and so, like, ah, like, I, do, I didn't really want to do this. But, I mean, yes, guys, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm getting hits. I'm, I'm getting interviews. The biggest one I'm going to have is on December 20th. I'll let you guys know about that one uh, after I do it because I don't want to get to it over, a, you know, over, ahead of myself. Um, but yeah hit that like button guys i mean please just just slaughter that like button please subscribe if you're new to this i promise i'm going to start making more content i'll concentrate on making more videos i got a few video ideas that i'm gonna um make for you guys already on um before you join a boot camp you know things to to look at before joining a coding boot camp and things to 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 do while searching for for jobs or you know if you want or if you want to get into the development field 
But yep, thank you guys so much for watching me. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. And again, sorry for making this video so like, eh, you know, kind of saddish, but you know, um, I'm really motivated. I, I really am. And it's time, you know, 2020, I feel like it's, it's going to be a good year. Hopefully it is a good year and I feel like we're going to get there. But see you guys on the next one.